Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, this time we're going to be creating a resin letter geode. So this is a wood letter I purchased from Michaels. I'll have all links and information in the description box. It's about 10 and a half inches tall and it was maybe $5 or so. So I have my letter and this is a custom order. So she selected some colors already. We have like a, it's called rose pink from Liquitex, acrylic paint, a light pink from Craftsmart, bright pink from Craftsmart, white from Liquitex. And then um, this is Let's Resin uh, Rustic Gold. So uh, this came in a pack on Amazon, but everything else came from Michaels. And I have some glitters just in case I want to use them today and we have some paper cups to separate our colors and pigments for resin we have some silicone mixing sticks like the small ones and then a large one for the mixing cup and then this is a silicone like brush to help spread the resin and I have regular old popsicle sticks and then a large mixing cup um, and then in addition to that like just kind of things that you will probably need every time you work with resin I have like painter's tape and this is for just kind of bordering the letter and I'll explain what these are for after but make sure you have your respirator protective mask and your heat gun and gloves and make sure they're nitrile gloves to protect against the chemicals what we're gonna do to start is and this is just this is how I create the letters so everyone kind of creates them differently but I like to start with a white base. I feel like the colors become more vibrant with the white base. So I'm going to just take some white paint. And get it started on the letter. And I'm not really focusing on the sides, just the base of the letter. If it falls on the side or, you know, there's some that comes on the side, it's fine but mostly focusing on the base. Okay, so we have everything covered now. All right, so I'm gonna put the brush to the side and I am impatient, so I'm going to try to speed up the, the process of this drying. Usually you can just let it dry. It takes about probably 30 minutes to an hour, but I don't want to wait. For the most part, it's dry. And well, there's probably some spots that are still wet. But um, what we're gonna do now is flip over our letter and it's probably whatever part is what is gonna get on there, but that's fine. These are silicone mats, so they clean pretty easy and they help your resin come off easily as well. So what we're gonna do, there are a couple ways to tape this to make sure that um, the resin's not going to either seep towards the bottom and create like big pools or splatters. So I think the way I'm gonna do this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tape the bottom because I don't mind it getting on the sides. So I'm going to tape the back. So I'm just covering the back. I'm not like trying to be too neat, just literally covering the back using my scissors. And I'll trim the excess in a minute. And this is just painter's tape. If you have a stronger kind of tape, that works as well. This does the job for the most part. The better you prep your letter, the easier time you're gonna have when you're finished doing your finishing touches. So it's tedious, but necessary. So now I'm gonna turn it around. 
So you could leave it like this and just pour resin and it'll kind of sit on this layer. But I think that I want to make it a little bit thicker. Oh no, glitter. So first I'm going to trim the excess with the sharper, like straighter letters. This will be the easy part, but you may have some trouble with like letter G's and D's and B's. And this may be even easier if you have um, an X-Acto knife to kind of just trim the edges, but I don't, I don't want to cut my mats under and I'm very clumsy when it comes to those things. So if you wanted to make, because this is a little thin, so if you wanted to make this thicker, we can make a border with the tape, which is what I think I'm gonna do. And I don't really want it to be too thick. So it's all depending on your thickness. So if you wanted it really thick, then you probably would have the tape this like this far up. But I'm gonna actually have the tape like here. I'm not looking for like a super thick. You can try to make it as even as possible, but there's always ways to fix this kind of thing. So even if you don't, it's fixable. I'm just pulling the tape and pressing firmly on like the tape against the wood. So this is the part where it's gonna get a little messy, so I'm gonna rip that. Now, although you are pressing hard, you don't want the, um, the tape to do this because that's gonna affect how, when you pour your resin, it's, it's gonna be like a, a cave inside. Your resin will cave inside, so you don't want that. Let's see if I can get inside of this. So for some pieces, you're going to have to rip it. It can't be one long. Got kind of one side going. So I'm gonna move this around this way. With painter's tape, it's a hit or miss. I mean, depending on how much you um, press, you know, there's a chance that the resin will still seep down the sides. Um, but again, like we said, it's all fixable. Um, there is a tape, I think it's called Sure Tape, that, um, and even Frog's tape is a little bit stronger than painter's tape, but I have a comfort level with painter's tape, so I'm okay even if it falls down the sides. I make things work after I cry about it. And just take your time. There's no brush. We haven't mixed any resin, so we're not rushing to get to that part yet. You want to make sure that your letter is prepped the way you want it or everything else will be for not. I 
And if you're doing it in pieces like this, just make sure um, your pieces kind of overlap so there's no gap. So just go through with whatever you have that's can press down firmly and just press. So we're done with our painter's tape. We have our border, we have the back taped. So now what we're gonna do is put the painter's tape away. We don't need the scissors anymore. We don't need this. Um, so before even mixing the resin, also wanted to make sure you have your glass. So for my, um, for my geode, I use crushed glass. I use a combination of this huge bag, which is clear crushed glass from Barbecue Guys online. And this is from Michael's. This is their like decorative filler. And this is in light gold. So I use a combination of this crushed glass and this is what it looks like in here. It's really pretty. And I think I'm gonna add one more thing. And this is optional, but I am going to add some mica powder to my um, to my paint colors. It gives it a pretty gloss, so I'm gonna add that to it. And then I'm going to also, probably we're gonna see, but um, diamond dust, this is purchased on Amazon. You can put this over the crystal glass to make it look like, oops, diamond dust <laughs> from Amazon. You can put this over um, the crushed glass to kind of give it that diamond effect, like something sparkling. And then you can also use iridescent flakes. These are from Starlight. It's like a cosmetic glitter company. Um, they're really pretty. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna think about is just where you wanna put your geode. Just think about the section, how much you want. So I think for this letter, I'm gonna bring some from here going down a little bit here coming down and then on this side just coming up a little bit so let's get started we're gonna put our letter onto some paper cups to give it some height so that when the resin falls if it does which it shouldn't because of our tape but if it does it's not just sitting under the letter creating like a pool it'll just fall right onto my mat so we're gonna try to do this. So I'm just trying to make sure that it's even level. So if it falls on, okay, good. I think it's good. I'm gonna put one under here if it fits. It does. Okay. Um, honestly, for this, you don't need a lot of resin. So I have a variety pack of mica powders that I purchased off Amazon. So I'm gonna add some colors to my pigments. Um, it's light red, peach red, and then pink and white. So let's get started. I'm gonna put on my mask. Only 10% is needed of each acrylic paint. So about this this much. It's sinking to the bottom, so you probably can't tell. 
but I'm also adding mica powder so I didn't add a lot of this because of that. So I didn't have this. So much of, it already sunk to the bottom, but look at that one. <laughs> it sinks really fast. For this gold, it's really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And that's like really thick, so it's on the side. And then this last one is going to be a glitter mix. Open these yet. And then I'm going to put some gold into my gold uh, pigment. I want to make sure that it's thoroughly stirred, no streaks are in there. It's kind of like cut over as well. It's the light pink. This is the dark pink. It's the dark pink. And then white. And white is white. So, uh, now that we're ready, what I'm going to do to start is uh, this is just clear. I'm gonna kind of mark off where I'm going to put my geode. So actually, this is a little too small. Where is that little brush? Perfect, okay. 
So I'm just kind of painting the clear where I'm going to put my geode. So, put it here. So I'm going to actually put some iridescent flake on the bottom, right there, where I'm going to put my geode. And I'm going to put some diamond dust. Now let's start putting our geo down. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So start with your bigger chunks. And these are like huge chunks. So start with these. And just lay them out. You don't have to fill, uh, fill all the spots because we are going to go in with our smaller one after, but we should have a layout by now. I'm going to go in with my smaller glass, and this has a gold kind of tint to it. drizzle some resin on top of this just to seal anything that's not touching resin. Okay. pattern um, I'm just pouring at my free will um, and kind of like the same direction mostly and just think of this initial pour because we do layers as like a, a base um, a background
Alright, so now that we are just about done, we're going to use our heat gun a little bit and move the colors around. So we are done for the first day. I'll see you at day two. Bye-bye. Hey guys, welcome to day two. Um, today we're doing some detail work and our glitter lines. So today you're gonna need two acrylic or more, uh, depending on what colors you use. I'm using two. Two acrylic paint markers. So I have the Sharpie water-based paint marker acrylic and that's in white. And then I have the deco color, and this is a paint marker as well. This one is, I wanna see if it's water-based or oil. This is an oil-based one. So I have my acrylic paint markers, and then I also am gonna be using, for my glitter lines, this is just a champagne extra fine glitter, and a syringe, a plastic syringe. I purchased these in bulk, disposable, from Amazon, and um, a cup to put my glitter in, heat gun, and I have my resin. Um, I'm mixing more than I need. You really only need for this portion about 50 milliliters or less, like a tiny bit of resin, but I'm doing another project, so I'm gonna be pouring that as well. But I have my resin mixed in equal parts here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that. And make sure if you do use a small amount of resin, you're mixing properly. Sometimes when you mix smaller amounts, you're Portions are a little off because they're so small. So just make sure you're mixing those equal amounts of each part if that's what your resin calls for. And if you do notice, I took off the tape for my letter. And now that's optional. You can take off your tape you know, now or you can take it off after you're completely done with the letter. I chose to take it off now because after experimenting with it, it was more difficult to take the tape off at the end because we had poured resin for so long. So I took it off. I'm just now using my heat gun so you can heat up, not too much, but just heat up the portion that where the resin touches the tape and then it'll peel back pretty easily. It's tedious, so just take your time, but I took the tape off just to make it easier for myself. So I'm just mixing my resin, it's just about done. So my resin's all mixed now. What I'm gonna do is pour just my little teeny bit that I need in the cup. Here, I'll put the cup here so you can see. Right here. And literally, you don't need a lot. I'm not even gonna fill this halfway. It's gonna be less than that. Right there. So it's about a fourth way full. I'm gonna put that right back in there. So before I even start mixing my glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do my glitter lines. And you choose where you want your lines, where you, you feel that maybe it's lacking in interestingness and you wanna add some to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make some lines. If you choose to follow, you know, the, some white lines maybe that you have made with your white marker, you can definitely do that. They don't have to be straight. They don't have to be completely curvy, whatever you want. On in with my white. I'll come up here as well. And then let's come over here a little bit. So I'm trying to just keep some balance um, and make sure that like there's a little bit of line work a little everywhere. Don't know if I'm making any sense, but hopefully I am. Okay, so we have our white, and I'm gonna do a little bit of gold because the gold is already pretty powerful. Um, let me... There we go. So, when you first open your marker, like I just did, you have to um, activate it. So that's what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna put the top back on, shake it well.
press down on it. And here I'll show you, that's the motion that you're doing. You're just kind of pushing down on the tip. So I'm gonna do it over here to the side. Okay, there we go. So you're not gonna need too much gold because there's a lot of gold going on. And anytime you feel like you need more, you just push down. couple of lines I'm not doing anything crazy. Okay. Maybe one right here. And a little gold right here. Okay. Alright, so we have our few lines. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some glitter to our glitter mix that we're working on here. And you can use different kinds of glitter, different um, like values of the same color. But I'm gonna actually, here, let me switch this. I'm gonna use this one instead, because I'm gonna open it. Um, I'm gonna just use one value, one color, one tone, like just make it pretty. And I'm pouring a lot, if you can see. So my resin was up to about here, like about a fingernail um, length, and I'm basically gonna double that, almost triple it in glitter. Um, but yeah, I'm only using one value of color because I have a lot of colors and glitter going on right now on my letter already, so I don't wanna overwhelm the piece. So, okay, my little spatula silicone stick. Just get all the rest of off, okay. And so the consistency you're looking for is basically a paste. You want it to be pretty thick so that when you squeeze it on with, with your syringe, your, your glitter's not spreading out too much. It's gonna spread out a little bit, but we don't want it to do too much, so. And that's a pretty good consistency there. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. All right, there we go. So, next we're gonna open our syringe. So I'm just gonna pour, I'm gonna lean this syringe, I took it apart, lean it against the letter. We'll get back in there. Okay. I'm actually gonna take this out because you're bothering me. Okay. Lean it against the letter and fill it um, almost to the top, not too far up there. Side. And where's my, my little lid? I'm gonna actually bring this back over so we can push this back in. Now that it's in, we have our glitter syringe. So this you use wisely. You don't wanna go crazy, but you do wanna make it a little interesting, so. it for day two that was our glitter lines so we're all set we're gonna give this a day to cure and then we'll come back for day three and do our flood coat so thank you for watching see you for day three bye welcome to day three so we're gonna do a flood coat over our letter um, to seal in all of our line work and glitter lines so I'm mixing my resin, and this only calls for about 200 milliliters of resin, but usually I'm working on more than one project, so I mixed about 400 milliliters of resin. Um, once it's mixed, I'm just gonna use a small cup to go over everything. And I'm trying to keep the resin on the letter versus like letting it fall to the sides, especially since I don't have my tape on the sides. I just wanted to kind of dome on the top. So that's why you see me using the brush just to make sure it's all precise, but still being covered. 
and I'm avoiding pouring on the actual crushed glass unless I'm ready to add more crushed glass to it. That's the only reason you should be going over it is if you're trying to add to it. But yeah, so after covering that letter with the resin, you've sealed it so we have to wait another day for that to cure. And then this is me, um, this is the next day after it cured, I'm taking off the tape. Um, it's really satisfying. You can heat up just a section and then just pull it right off. And I don't paint the sides or anything. The only thing I do um, is I have my husband I have my husband install a sawtooth hanger on the back, or hangers in this case, um, so it's easier for my customer to hang. And then I take that same deco colored marker and my sharpie marker, and I actually go back over my lines. I outline my glitter lines, and then I go over the same gold lines I made from the first time. Um, we're just kind of bringing back that vibrancy. Um, and then it looks kind of 3D when we do it this way. So that's me just going over the lines. And the last thing that I did off camera, um, I used my deco color gold marker and I colored the sides of the letter. Um, so it had the gilded edge. And then um, I also used a mixture of um, artist varnish and gold mica powder to um, add some like lava almost it looks like a gold lava around the crushed glass to give it um, some more just like interestingness <laughs> um, and then it also kind of brings out the crystal of the crushed glass too but that is it um, thank you so much for watching this is what it looks like now and I can't wait to see what you guys create bye